Hello guys, my name is Sid. Today I'll teach you one of the most common components that are using in the field of electronics. And that component or device is what we call resistor. As what as you can see written here. Now, what is resistor all about? Let me ask those students who are taking up electronic subject or studying electronics. This is a great help for you to understand and make this reference for your studies. All you have to do is to listen carefully. Okay, so if you are not really familiar about resistor, or even until now you don't have any idea, I'll show you a picture as an example. See, this is a carbon type resistor. Maybe you should say, what is the purpose of that resistor in a circuit? Is that really important to study? Maybe you should say that, right? Or shall I say, what is the function or uses of this device? That question refers to its definition. So how could we define resistor? Simply by the word itself. Think of it. The word resistor came from the word resist. So these device resistors are used to resist. What is the other term for resist? To reduce, to limit. So that means resistors are used to reduce or limit the flow of current in a circuit, whether it is in a series or in a parallel connection. Keep in mind, my dear friends, that resistors are classified into two. What are those? The first one is what we call fixed resistors. And then followed by the next one, which is variable resistor. Now let us discuss first the first one, which is fixed resistor. When we say fixed resistor, we are referring to its value, which is fixed and not able to be changed. What does it mean? I'll show you one example. These are pictures of fixed resistors. Now every one of it has an amount of resistance or value. Let's get one. This is it. The value of this resistor is 360 ohms. When we say ohms, it is the unit of resistance. Now this 360 ohms is fixed and not able to be changed. While here in variable resistors, the resistance value can be adjusted or changeable. So let's have another example. These are good examples of a variable resistor as you can see. Suppose that we have here a volume control or a potentiometer having a written value of 10 kilo ohms. Now rotating its shaft from maximum going to the middle, we could have or measure a value of at least 8 kilo ohms or a little bit higher or lower than that, depending on the result if you are going to use an ohmmeter or tester. Same as if we turn it lower than lower going to the minimum, we could have at least 5 kilo ohms or lower. Now, what does it show for us? The resistance value of a variable resistors can be adjusted or changeable. From the word itself, variable, that means it varies. Okay? Now, let's go back to fixed resistor. According to the IEC, International Electrotechnical Commission, and the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer. According to them, two standard symbols that we need to use to identify a resistor. The first is the old one used by the US and another new one used by European symbols, as you can see. Any of these two we can use so that then wherever we go, whatever schools we came from and learned, all of us could have a standard interpretation of that certain symbols. Another symbol that we have here is for variable resistor. This is the symbols for potentiometer or volume control. And another one is for rheostat. Now, resistors has its own parameter. And what are those? As I mentioned earlier, the resistance value. That is the first one, wherein it refers to the amount of opposition in a resistor, and it is expressed in ohms. Another is the tolerance. 
the maximum change in resistance from its rated value. In every resistor, there is a minimum and a maximum tolerance. Depending on the tolerance value, if it is gold, having the percentage of 5. Silver, which is 10% tolerance. And the absence of color or the no color, which is 20%. Now, we're going to discuss about it through the topic of decoding of resistors. So, you need to wait for that lesson. So, let's move on to number 3, the power rating. Now, resistors power measures in watts beginning from 1, 8 watts up to 2 watts, specifically in a carbon type resistors. And the last one is number 4, which is the TCR, temperature coefficient of resistance. So here mentioned how resistance changes with temperature that is also expressed in percentage. Notice that the temperature coefficient of resistance or the TCR is one of the main used parameters to characterize a resistor. The TCR defines the change in resistance as a function of an ambient temperature. The common way to express the TCR is in ppm over degree Celsius which stands for the parts per million per centigrade degree. Okay, so let's move on to the different types of resistors. The first one that we have here is the carbon composition resistor. It is fine granulated carbon which is mixed with clay and hardened. The resistance depends on the proportion of carbon to clay. The higher this ratio, the lower the resistance. The next one is wire wound resistor. These are commonly made by winding or wrapping a resistance wire, usually nichrome, around a ceramic, plastic, or a fiberglass. The assembly is then covered with enamel glaze and baked at a high temperature. They are used in uh, circuits which carry large currents or in circuits where accurate resistance values are required. Another type of resistor is the chip resistor. When we say chip, that means small piece and for all types of resistors, this is the smallest. This type of fixed resistor is in the category of SMT component, which is the surface mount technology. It has the advantage of a very small size for compact assemblies. And number four, we have network resistor. This kind of resistor has two configuration packages, the dual inline and single inline packages. They are used for integrated circuits or the IC. The IP typically contains 14 to 16 pins. The next type of resistor is foil resistor. Foil resistor is high accurate and stable component of all resistor types. The foil used here is made up of an alloy which is usually nichrome with additives. It is used as the primary resistance element to block the electric current and one of the important parameter stability of this resistor is the TZR or the temperature coefficient of resistance which is extremely low. And the last one that we have is the film type resistor. Film type resistor composed of resistive material film. And uh, this type of resistive film are characterized into four. These are carbon film, metal oxide film, metal glaze film, and metal film. Thank you.